Hello, Weber. Heard you were in town. My new client, Mira. Wait, what? Mira, be careful. Mm. Laurel was so beautiful. Even when she was dying. I get it now, why you were so sad when you lost her. She was my wife. Of course I was sad to lose her. How come you couldn't see a future with me? It's important for you to understand that I really did everything I could for her. But if someone doesn't want to get better, there's just nothing you can do. She didn't want it bad enough. She wavered on my homeopathic therapy. If she had just committed, then maybe. But she had stage four cancer. Most importantly, I was there when it happened. Mine was the last face she ever saw. I was her angel of death. You're insane. I knew it was you. It took me a minute to figure it out, but I knew it was you. <clears throat> it hurts, doesn't it? <clears throat> you know, it wasn't my intention, but I guess I'm your angel of death, too. <clears throat> You're not gonna get away with this. <clears throat> I kept telling you to go to the doctor, and you wouldn't listen to me. Both you and your car were gone. You left Max at physical therapy. See, the police are gonna come later today or maybe tomorrow, and that's what I plan on telling them. And then somebody's gonna clock your car at the end of that driveway, and then they'll just figure out the rest. Just like I did with Laurel and Ida. Stop struggling. Do the right thing for Todd and Max for once! I am! No! Stop struggling! Ah! 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 Ah!